Okay, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate what I got going on with my truck. Uh, it's a 2006 Ford Super Duty with a 6 liter power stroke in it. And I've actually owned a few 6 liters. Uh, I am familiar with the engine. I turn my own wrenches and I've uh, done quite a bit of work on these. Um, this particular one though has a high pressure oil leak that I'm having a hard time tracking down. So I thought I'd get the input from uh, hopefully some more experienced 6 liter mechanics here. Uh, Occasionally the truck won't start. Uh, it's due to low injection control pressure. On cranking I might only get about 100 psi, which is way below the necessary 500 uh, to fire the injectors. Um, the funny thing is if I apply compressed air through the I, uh, ICP port, then the truck will just go ahead and fire right back off. Uh, if I let it sit, it'll, it will never start up. I could let it sit for 24 hours till the engine's bone cold and it, it will not start back up unless I do the compressed air. Um, because of this, I believe that this is a uh, sticky IPR valve, which uh, to the best of my understanding, this would be an abnormal failure for an IPR valve. And I have pulled the valve out and I've inspected the screen, uh, also uh, taken the screen off and made sure there's no debris inside the valve. And I also went through the whole high pressure oil system a few months back. I replaced uh, a few injectors, uh, pulled the high pressure oil rails off, and inspected the uh, stand pipes and dummy plugs and high pressure oil pump. And actually all that was replaced just a couple of years ago anyway. Um, wasn't able to find any problems when I did that and the, uh, the symptoms are remaining. So let's go ahead and watch the video. And uh, if you guys have any input, I'd love to hear it. All right, guys, uh, I've got a 06 Super Duty here with uh, intermittent no start going on. And uh, this has happened probably at least a dozen times in the last couple of weeks. And this is just the first time I've had an opportunity to actually uh, to film it and demonstrate what's going on. So the reason the truck won't start is it's got low injection control pressure. This is not a normal high pressure oil leak, though. Normally at a high, pre uh, high pressure oil leak, the truck would be hard to start hot. Uh, and it would be just below the 500 psi necessary for the uh, um, for the injectors to fire. I've got my scan gauge hooked up, and we'll go ahead and crank the truck over, and I'll show you what we're getting. Um, I would, uh, you know, on cranking you'd get normally about 500 uh, psi, then the engine would fire off. Uh, in this case, I'm probably only going to see a little over 100 psi. As you saw there, we're right around 130. Um, that's super low injection control pressure. That's like massive high pressure oil leak territory right there. Uh, however, through some trial and error, I've discovered that uh, I really don't have a normal high pressure oil leak going on. So the procedure for trying to find a high pressure oil leak calls for applying compressed air to the high pressure oil system. And so I've tried that. Uh, and commanding the IPR closed and I've tried that and I've never actually been able to find the leak I brought my stethoscope with me and everything else But I found that with this truck if I just apply compressed air through the uh, um, ICP port right there for just a few seconds uh, Then the truck will just fire right back off and it'll work fine for another week. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that now Okay, we've got our air pressure fitting installed. I just have a 100 PSI shop air here. We'll just apply air pressure here for not long. Just long enough to uh, displace a little bit of air, or displace a little bit of oil with air in the system.
All right, so go ahead and pull the air air fitting out. We'll put our uh, ICP sensor back in. So there you guys have it, a little bit of compressed air, all of a sudden the truck magically starts making injection control pressure again. Uh, certainly not a uh, high pressure oil leak that I've ever seen before, but again, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more of just a uh, hobbyist type mechanic, not a, uh, not a professional power stroke mechanic. So uh, my feeling is this is probably a sticky IPR, but before I go ahead and, uh, and put, you know, just throw some parts at this thing, I'd love to hear what uh, more experienced mechanic has to say about this.